I ain't saying that, it's just... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old oh, man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are off. you doing? That's, that's my history. Hey, girl.
go. Okay there. Where's this shot? Who we got here? Yep.
<laughs> you got my money? Oh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. The what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity, and it's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment, yes. Judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful metal. <clears throat> 
Okay, girl. Uh, just clearing out the old cobweb. How do you do this? What the hell's with you? You got something to hide? Show me your face. Calm down. Dude's gonna get you killed. Hey there, Aaron boy. You look like way to God. I'm commanding you to stop in the name of the law. Go ahead. Keep moving. See what happens. <laughs> to him. Come on.
I'm all out of space. <laughs> I'm sure some of them want this. I hear folks say this town is on the skids, but I don't see it.
Bridges! Let's get them! I can't believe we lost him.
bitch. He's got no fox kill in here. Don't listen. Just more nonsense. Hey there, mister. Morning. Not again. Never comes when the need. Anyway, yes. 
I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crying sort, but... I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? Okay, bring us over. We good? Uh-huh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. John. Move over, will you? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Okay, come on up. All right. Where's John? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving.
Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. Yeah. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> and why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Mr. Jameson? Sir? Jameson? Heston Jameson? Yes. Not his brother, Archer. Oh, he owns the mine. Up in Hensburg. Oh. My God, what a family. Yes. He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I'm sure. They're... They're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Boy, you guys! Okay, fam, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. No. Uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15. Six, six, seven, I hear you. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Let's clear the... We've got to move. Come on! We can't keep this up. Let's move!
Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go! Come on, take my pistol! Let's clear these and make a run for it! Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. You're in a Turn that one around, or we will gun you down. Can't do that, fellas. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets... 
wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, the Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. They said it wasn't the right time, so... It might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. To me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us. What then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Arthur. 
Walker. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Let's go, girl. Many more times will we survive? These past months have been hellish. Have they? For me, for me, they've been different. I'm a changed man, Herr Strauss. Entirely changed. I have been saved from hell. We are going to die. Of course, but not yet. And the path shall become clear. I have been saved, Herr Strauss. You've gone mad. Mm. Don't fall apart on us. Fall apart? I'm more worried about dying. Try to stay strong. Well, try to keep your head straight. I suppose. As soon as I'm shown some evidence, there's a brain inside your head. You know, you'll get what's coming to you. Damn it, Bill. Get away from me. Hey, Reverend. Arthur, hello.
there, girl. Oh, sir, just in time. I'm lost out here, and I ain't got no food and no water. Could you uh, please take me to town, please? Oh, you are a sight to see. Whew. Raise up them hands and think of heaven. Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Okay, sure. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. I'm sure you got better things to do than follow a lame blind man around. Girl? This guy no, is your mysterious I was savior. just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it over. What do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around.
So noted. You have a good day now. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Let me know what you'd like. Just about every gun in this town came out of my store. Not sure I've kept the town safe, but I've definitely kept it armed. If any part of this weapon isn't to your like, we can change it right out. Maybe the frame or the barrel. Anything, really. You can depend on this. How would you feel about a new stock on this one? I could make one for you. You know, a new stock on this could really improve it. Interested? This is an excellent weapon. Are you interested in any rifling in this one? Give your bullets a nice twist rate. You know, this weapon would look even more impressive with some engraving. What do you think? People need their guns around here. I do my best to make sure they have guns they can rely on. People around here save up their money to buy ammunition instead of food. They know what they like. Conditions in that mine are getting worse by the year. If nobody wants to work there, what would become of this town? Very nice. Here you go. Huh? Mm -hmm. Guns are beautiful machines, but if you want to use them, you might need some ammunition. That should be good. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. I could rifle the barrel of this one if you'd like. Now it's even better.
gun is practically a necessity in this town. Look around. Ask anyone. All the weapons here are regularly maintained and cleaned. The coal dust gets on everything. Just about every gun in this town came out of my store. Not sure I've kept the town safe, but I've definitely kept it armed. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. I'm afraid the gun won't do you much good without some ammo. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. I could put some excellent engraving on this, if you're interested. Gun is practically a necessity in this town. Look around. Ask anyone. You look pretty worn down. I do have a room for rent if you need to get some rest. You will only find the finest firearms here. The room next door is available if you need one for the night. It is probably the best room in this town. I know these firearms inside and out. Feel free to ask anything.
Guns are beautiful machines, but if you want to use them, you might need some ammunition. for some assistance? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Now relax. Whenever you're done, just say the word. You're gonna feel so good after I'm through with you. Ah, I do not like getting older. Oh, sure. It's been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, you don't say. Thank you. So, what do you do for fun? Oh, after work. Uh, I help nanny some of the children around here. Doing what I can to get out of this place. You wish I could stay longer, huh? Oh, uh, I'm thinking I don't want this to end. You're thinking when will this be over? Oh, <laughs> this is so unprofessional. I'm sorry. I can tell you're a good person. Ugh, I ain't nothing special, please. Quite the scars you have, huh? All right, I think that should do it. I sure hope I see you again.
alone? Wasn't followed! I said no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh... You don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We wanted men. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out, and he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Arthur, I said get yourself hidden. Arthur, you're going to blow our cover. Will you get out of sight? Arthur, get behind something before you're spotted. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderland robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderland. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. 
Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No boys! Let's go. www.
It out, boys. Lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, 
The Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Go away, will you? I'm not talking to you, because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come... How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just... Leave me alone, will you? This is... Exhausting. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. They come for me, but I'm watching. <laughs> I, I never sleep. I never do. 